Hello, my awesome and amazing Scorpios. It's Melba Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another special bonus reading for the channel. If you are a masculine and or a feminine Scorpio dealing with a feminine and or a masculine Capricorn, then this is the reading for you. Let's see what's going on between these two zodiac signs on a romantic level, no matter what type of situation you're in with this Capricorn and vice versa, Capricorn with Scorpio. Okay, calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Scorpio viewers and my Scorpio subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers. And so it is. And of course, rolling the dice to see what we need to shuffle the deck to. I have the power of number nine. You can see the hermit card kick in. Somebody's being silent. Somebody went rogue. They're not talking. Somebody's not talking. Somebody's trying to seek wisdom, clarity, or insight, or waiting for the light at the end of the tunnel for some kind of forward movement in regards to this connection. Power of number five, we can see the five of cups. Somebody's got guilt, remorse, regret. Picking up that there were lies and deception. Seeing the Hierophant, you could have been married to this Capricorn or vice versa. Capricorn married to Scorpio. Or somebody could be already in a committed connection or partnership, but with a karmic situation or some kind of long-term commitment. Five of Wands, Five of Swords, picking up on mind games. Or somebody is conflicted with inside of themselves in regards to this connection. Feeling left out in the cold, Five of Pentacles. Power of number eight, Strength card we can see kick in. Somebody needs the courage or the strength to come forward or somebody could have been involved here outside of this connection, maybe with a Virgo or a Leo. Looks like we're going to the power of number 22. However, picking up on the eight of wands, rapid fire communication, or somebody here could be at a distance. This could be a long distance connection or somebody feels at an emotional distance. Power of number two, obviously that's in there. High priestess, secrets. Again, somebody's not talking. Somebody is withholding information. Preferably, I would like to see the Two of Cups. However, the Two of Swords may also kick in. Somebody needs to make a decision or get a clue about this connection. Power number 22. Let's see what's going on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and 22. Trusted ancestors, what is the overall general collective reading or message in regards to this connection between Scorpio and Capricorn? What's going on here? Wheel of Fortune, okay, something about a faded turn of events unexpectedly, but it's showing me in a positive way up to this point, okay? However, somebody could also be getting their karma. What goes around comes around. The Wheel of Fortune has the energy of the fixed sign seasons, Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, and Scorpio. Your person's first and or last name could start with the letter T, the letter A, the letter R, or the letter O within his or her name. Something about somebody reaching out, I feel, in Aquarius season. Maybe we'll see the star card as confirmation. But there's a faded turn of events. Let's see what's going on here. You two could have met each other more specifically in the month of October. 
the sun card. There's Leo energy coming in. But overall, in general, the sun card, something is shifting in a positive direction here, which is good. Two major arcanas. Could have met this Capricorn on 1019. Scorpio, you could have met Capricorn on 1019. Maybe the last time the two of you talked was October 19th. <laughs> Interesting. For some of you. Somebody wants to have it all. There's a major turnaround here. But why? Okay, so somebody's getting their karma for some kind of backstabbing and betrayal. Like I said, what goes around comes around. Ten of Swords. There could have been an ending between you and this Capricorn and vice versa. This is like this is like a 180 degree. There's like a 180 degree turnaround. What was the backstabbing and betrayal? Ooh. Well, Queen of Cups fell out. So it is about you, Scorpio. <laughs> what was the backstabbing and betrayal? The moon. Okay, so secret. Somebody wasn't talking. Somebody was staying silent behind the scenes or behind the scenes. Somebody was getting backstabbed and betrayed, but now somebody's going to get their karma. Their karma could come to them in Aquarius season. But what I'm going to also be looking for here, too, between these two zodiac signs, Scorpio and, and Capricorn, I was about ready to say cancer, cancerian energy. I don't know. Maybe somebody else was dealing with the cancerian as well. Cancerian energy coming in through the moon. Okay. Could end up getting their karma. Man, oh man, somebody's energy is being stubborn with me as a reader. Somebody doesn't want me to know something here as a reader. But cards don't lie. Whatever is hidden in the dark with the moon, it's going to come to the light with the sun card. Message from the moon. Somebody's spying in on somebody or there was a troublemaker. Could be a karmic. Somebody here could have told, e either one of you could have told each other that somebody's going to get their karma for the backstabbing and betrayal. Or somebody's heavily spying in, watching, waiting for somebody to get their karma <clears throat> in regards to a third party. But there was a troublemaker. Somebody got in the way. Wow. Who or what is the Page of Swords? Somebody from the past. Somebody got involved with somebody from the past outside of this connection. Or e either one of you could have known each other from the past. Maybe you guys have known each other for the last six years. For some of you, it could go even farther than that. It could be like a 20, you know, 20 plus year connection. Maybe you two never actually dated one another or ever got to like boyfriend, girlfriend or girlfriend and girlfriend or boyfriend and bro boyfriend situation. But you feel like Scorpio, you may feel like this Capricorn is your destiny or vice versa. Capricorn, you feel like Scorpio is your destiny, but somebody's waiting for something to come to an end in order for a new beginning to happen because the sun card brings in health, wealth, prosperity, abundance. Somebody could still have been dealing with an ex. Maybe there was a forewarning to say, uh, I don't think you should go deal with that ex. Mm -mm. 
There could be children involved. Somebody's got kids. I also heard from spirit. Somebody's wondering when somebody here is going to introduce them to their family. Hmm. What goes around comes around. Let's see what the sun is bringing in. Message from the sun. The chariot. Somebody's coming forward. Forward movement. Or somebody's traveling at a great distance to see one another. Or again, waiting, waiting for somebody to get out of a karmic situation and move forward. Either Capricorn, you're waiting for Scorpio to come to you. Or Scorpio, you're waiting for Capricorn to come forward unto you to get out of a karmic toxic situation. Somebody is repeating a negative toxic cycle here. Somebody hasn't learned their lesson, but it feels to me that somebody's going to learn their lesson in a very rough way. That's what I'm, I'm picking up on. Because if you look at, look at the energy, look at the extremity of the energy here. You know, you have this dark gray clouded black energy and then you have this bright cheery look of the wheel of fortune but somebody's getting their karma for deception for messing around with somebody else possibly from the past or somebody didn't let really fully release or let go of an ex that they should have done a long time ago Because if I add up the numbers, I'm seeing the judgment card. Somebody was deceptive in their feelings or emotions here. They held back. Somebody didn't feel worthy of the connection didn't feel worthy to accept because with the ten, um, wheel of fortune, the sun card and the chariot, like that's all bright. I'm key. I keep hearing the song bright sun, shiny day. It's like happiness. Somebody felt like they didn't deserve to be happy. What? So that tells me somebody else has got low self-esteem Mm, 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 mm. That's just from the chariot. Yeah, somebody wants to work something out and there's that Taurus Virgo Capricorn. And in regards to this, it's Capricorn energy coming in through the three of pentacles. <coughs> Excuse me. Somebody's racing and charging ahead in order to make something work out here. Could be either one of you. Somebody didn't learn the lesson. My eyes just keep going back to this Ten of Swords. And this moon energy. I mean, you guys, that is such a horrible combination of energy. Somebody didn't learn the lesson. They wanted to be immature. There was immature communication that was going on. Somebody forewarned somebody not to be dealing with somebody else. Mm, 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 mm. Somebody's going to move on from a toxic marriage, which would be good. That would actually be, be like, you know, a blessing in disguise. I'm 
combining the energy of this ten. My eyes just keep going back and forth with this ten of swords and the wheel of fortune. What is this? The queen of swords. Yeah, it's a karmic. Somebody for warn somebody not to deal with somebody that was toxic, third party, could be baby mama drama, whatever, who knows. Somebody raised some boundaries or set some boundaries here, or there was, again, the forewarning. But this is also a karmic. Somebody said, do not go back to that karmic. But somebody did. This is from the Queen of Swords. Six of Wands. Okay, I see this in a couple different directions. Whoever went back to a karmic could have been blasting false illusionary BS posts on social media. Somebody could have been spying in on this. Either one of you being all up in some form of disgust, like disgust energy. Not dis disgust, di like being disgusted. And or somebody's going to get the good news, quote unquote, good news that somebody got their karma. Because there's an ending, which means that there's going to be a breakup. Ten of Swords. Ten is just ten is an end of a cycle. Because they got two tens here. What goes around comes around. Now they want to work something out. Whoever that is. Because, you know, the Sun card can bring in marriage proposals. Or commitment. Because to me, this all looks like commitment right here. Forward movement with commitment. A lot of you have been waiting for this massive change or turnaround in this connection. Somebody was in denial of their feelings here. They thought, somebody thought that they knew better and they didn't. That Ten of Swords is undeniable. <laughs> Let's go into the Hidden Truth Oracle. <laughs> Message, what is the Hidden Truth between Capricorn and Scorpio with this Wheel of Fortune? I wonder if you're happy without me. Yeah, because somebody got their karma. <laughs> somebody here could also be seeing Capricorn. You could be seeing your Capricorn or Capricorn. You could be seeing your Scorpio moving on to their own happiness. Scorpio, you could see Capricorn moving on. Somebody made a poor choice. What is the hidden truth between Scorpio and Capricorn with this Ten of Swords? <laughs> I know that I crossed the line with you. Oh, boy. Yeah, because there was deception. Somebody was immature. Immature communication. It had, somebody had childlike behavior. And what I'm also hearing here, too, somebody revealed or confessed the truth like, Somebody said something to either one, either one of you was trying to convince that the two of you were meant to be together or that you were soulmates or something like this. And somebody, what I'm hearing from spirit, somebody shrugged their shoulders and, and passed it off as if it like it was null and void. So somebody was in denial. 
Message from the moon. What is the hidden truth? Finding out the truth crushed me. You could have found out something on social media, saw something on social media, because there's a spying energy. So you could have found out they went back to a karmic. But that's going to come to an end. And finding out the truth, crush, you know, it's, it's even silence can be about finding out the truth. When somebody's silent with you, that, that, that shows you their cards. You know what I'm saying? When somebody's silent with you, that shows them, that shows you or the other person how that somebody really truly feels about you. Are they making you, you know what I'm saying? Are they making you a number one priority? Huh. Clarifying the energy of the Page of Swords, we will be together again. So even though somebody walked away or shrugged off the connection, somebody, the undercurrent was that somebody still believed that there is fate and destiny because fate and destiny is coming in through Wheel of Fortune, Destino Fortuna. So fortunate destiny. So somebody feels that something is fated or written in the stars and has this firm faith or belief that somebody's going to be back together or wants to be back together. But they found out some ugly truth that they were dealing with somebody. But there definitely was some heavy spying going on. What is the hidden truth of this Six of Cups, please? It's time for me to heal now. So somebody's got to heal from the past or will be healing from a breakup. Scorpio and Capricorn could have broken up. There was an ending, a separation, possibly due, yes, to a third party or for whatever X, Y, and Z reason, the lame excuses, whatever. But somebody did go back to a person from the past, but... Either they're in a vicious cycle right now with this karmic, and they got a rude wake-up call. Come in with that Ten of Swords. Message from the sun. What is the hidden truth of the sun between Scorpio and Capricorn, please? It's like a revelation, a wake-up call. That's what the sun card is. Whatever's hidden in the dark will come to the light. So somebody wants you. I love you. Mm -hmm. What is the hidden truth? of the forward movement with the chariot between Scorpio and Capricorn. My life is not as together as it seems. Why would that be? Because whoever they have been dealing with or were dealing with, or they're having to heal from a past karmic connection really messed somebody up here in the head. That's what I'm picking up on. But yet at the same time, somebody here is screaming for forward movement and somebody knows that they're in love with you. And it's like they want to make this work out. Message from the three of pentacles. You and I were too young. In certain situations, somebody could have gotten married to a karmic at a very, very young age or... I look at this card as immaturity. We have immaturity energy three times. It's a little bit in this card. You and I were too young, so meaning youth. Page of Swords could be immature communication, youth, and then you got the Six of Cups. Or somebody thinks that the timing on the connection could have been too premature. 
What is the hidden truth from Scorpio unto Capricorn? Scorpio side feels that somebody here, we need to let each other go. Or somebody's in contemplation. Scorpio, you could be in contemplation with this Capricorn, whether or not to stay in this for the long grand scheme of things or just to let, let the situation go. So what this tells me is that the Scorpionic energy could definitely be in hermit mode right now. But there's something in this connection with Capricorn that keeps... Huh, I'm hearing Kim Wilde, you keep me hanging on. I know that I think the Supremes used to sing it to you. Um, Set me free, why don't you, babe? Get on my life, why don't you, babe? Because you don't really love me, you just keep me hanging on. That's the song I'm hearing with this. It's an emotional thing. And some of you Scorpios don't want to release or let go of this Capricorn. Because somebody's going to be making forward movement here. So I do see, it's like a 180 degree turnaround after some major hardcore lesson has been learned. So I feel like Scor the Scorpio side is battling mentally and emotionally with this. You know what? My counting got off with the Capricorn energy. I got to think about how I'm going to reroute this. Something's going on with the Capricorn side. Let me reroute. I'm going to go back to this Queen of Swords. Message from the Queen of Swords. I couldn't let you get close to me. Somebody went to go play with fire, basically. This is what I'm hearing. Somebody got too close to the fire. The fire was the karmic. Or somebody here wasn't willing to open up their feelings or emotions. Somebody didn't want to be vulnerable here because somebody's in the healing process as well. Picking up a lot of wishy, 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 washy energy. Message from the Six of Wands. I know I messed everything up. So somebody could be coming forward and a good the good news again could be somebody's going to admit or confess that they messed it up because somebody's in love. There's confusion. There has been confusion in this connection. Message from Capricorn. Somebody here wants to be more than friends, but I feel like Capricorn wants to say something else here. What else? Just being near you is intoxicating. So there, remember how I said there's like a, there's like a bond or a chain of energy going on here. Scared. Somebody was scared. Scared to have it all. But deep down inside, somebody loves somebody here. Let's go into the Romance Angels deck. For the Wheel of Fortune. Ten of Swords. Let 
the moon. Page of Swords. Six of Cups. Sun card. The chariot. Three of Pentacles. Scorpio and the Capricorn. Capricorn and Scorpio. Okay. Trusted ancestors, what is the hidden romantic truth between Capricorn and Scorpio with this Wheel of Fortune? And wondering if somebody is happy without them. What's going on? Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. There could have been a moment in time where the two of you might have made plans to go on a trip together. But that those plans or something could have came to a halt. Somebody could have seen somebody move on with somebody else or get married to a karmic. That's one situation. You guys could have had plans to go to Italy or want to go to Italy. Venice. Could be Rome. Picking up on Barcelona, Spain. Mm. Somebody's hoping that somebody comes around for the holidays. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Somebody's definitely wanting somebody to make a return. <coughs> Hang on one second. <coughs> Still having sinus and chest congestion. I've been trying to watch my dairy intake. It's been a little difficult. <laughs> I don't drink regular milk anymore because that builds up too much mucus in the system. I, I drink alternative milk. But I love my cheese. Not giving up my cheese. <laughs> I'm Sicilian. I can't give up cheese, okay? All right, so... What is the hidden romantic truth... Of this Ten of Swords between Capricorn and Scorpio. And somebody knows that they crossed the line. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. I feel, again, remember how I said it? I kind of feel like somebody denied um how do I want to say this? Somebody denied somebody's feelings. Or shut somebody down. When they said, like, I feel that we're soulmates or I or the I love you could have been rejected. Somebody could have said, well, I just don't feel that way about you. Yet somebody was willing to sleep with somebody. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing. What is the hidden truth of the moon between Scorpio and Capricorn and finding out the truth crushed me. What is this? Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and or expectations. Somebody here is in shock or dismay or disgusted energy that somebody picks somebody else over you. Take the roles how they resonate. Oh, how could he be with her? Ugh. How could he even think about being with him or her? Or, you know, how could she choose him over, over me? What? Yeah. Picking up a storyline like that. Show me the spying energy, please, between Capricorn and Scorpio. And somebody's convinced... 
that they'll be together. True love. This is a romance of a lifetime. Somebody was crushed. Mm-hmm. Somebody's love got rejected. I'm hearing J-Lo's If You Had My Love. Somebody's trying to heal, heal from past wounds, a past karmic relationship. Somebody got their karma. What is the hidden romantic truth between Capricorn and Scorpio? Heart to heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with one another. Somebody here is waiting for a one on one. One on one conversation. So the word is transparency. Somebody's looking for transparency here. What is the hidden romantic truth with this I love you and the sun card between Scorpio and Capricorn? Soulmate. Told you somebody said that somebody here is somebody's soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. So if a lot of you have been in questioning whether or not this is the person that you're supposed to be with, yes. It's your soulmate. You can put whatever label you want on it. You could, oh, it's my twin flame. It's all of this, whatever. It's a connection. All relationships are an energy connection. You decide what it is. If you don't know what it is, don't worry about it. You just know that you have a connection with this person. What is the hidden truth of the chariot? And my life is not as together as it seems. What's the hidden romantic truth? Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. It feels to me that spirit could be tapping somebody here on the shoulders that they're supposed to wake up to the truth. That somebody here could really actually have it all to, to just let everything from the past go bye bye. Bye, Felicia. Say bye bye. Adios, arrivederci, bon voyage, okay? But there could have been cultural or and or religious differences between the two of you. That is true for some of you guys. Could have been family dynamics, family members that were getting in the way, confusing the hell out of somebody. What is this teamwork and collaboration between Scorpio and Capricorn? Somebody feels that the situation, like somebody was too young or somebody met somebody at too early of an age or something about premature. The energy was premature. Maybe the timing wasn't right. What's up with this? Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So it's almost like a surge or an energy of movement here. Like somebody's going to feel bound and determined in order to make something happen here. What is the hidden romantic truth from Scorpio unto Capricorn? Give your relationship a chance. Work on the partnership. So the Scorpio side is showing me through the cards... That somebody wants to work out on this partnership means Scorpio. Scorpio wants to work something out here with Capricorn. But there's also that energy of, it's like, do I put my, the Scorpio side could be thinking, okay, do I cross the line? Do I step over that yellow line? Leave this all behind? Do I, questioning, confusion. Scorpio is showing me, Scorpio energy is showing me, showing me confusion, confusion in the emotions here. Do I hang on? Do I leave it? Do I hang on? Should I stay? Should I go? I don't know. There, there, there's a questioning. What is the message? Hidden romantic truth from Capricorn under Scorpio. Show me what's up, Capricorn. New love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Okay. So somebody here wants to be more than friends, meaning the Capricorn side. Just being near you is intoxicating. So somebody wants a fresh new start, a brand new beginning. There's a soulmate energy. However, in the past... In certain situations, Capricorn side could have, you know, found somebody new. That could very well be true. 
But I'm also picking up that this, somebody could have tried to make something work out with a past partnership or connection, but I'm picking up the word, it backfired. It didn't, something didn't work out. Or Capricorn wants to have this new beginning here with Scorpio because somebody's in love. Somebody here is in love. I think this connection up to this point, I'm seeing a roller coaster. It's been a roller coaster ride of emotions. Somebody needs to let their guard down. This is what I'm hearing. I'm seeing the seven of wands in my mind's eye. Somebody needs to freaking let their guard down. And I, but I'm picking up trust issues. I'm hearing the song Trust Issues. I can't remember who sings that song. It's some rapper. Trust issues. Both of you have trust issues with one another. Somebody's afraid to trust that they love somebody, to trust the feeling after there's been backstabbing and betrayal. And because there has been backstabbing and betrayal, somebody is having trust issues that whatever somebody says to one another, is it the truth? Are they being transparent? Are they being honest? That's what I'm picking up. So there's, there's, what I'm picking up is aggravation. Somebody feels that they, you know, they messed something up here. Message from this Queen of Swords. I couldn't let you get close to me. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work at your love in your love life. And so that's what I said about that Three of Pentacles. Premature. Somebody had their guard up. Didn't want somebody. Somebody didn't want to be vulnerable and open up that heart chakra. Somebody knows that they messed something up. Playfulness to recapture romance. Allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So what I'm feeling here too, because of that, even with that six of cups, somebody's being reminiscent. So whatever good times that the two of you have shared or spent together, somebody's being reminiscent of the past. But they're showing me forward movement. The good news is, like, despite the fact that, yeah, there's a ten of swords, it's not the greatest energy. However, the chariot, as a reader, that's my favorite major arcana. It shows me progressive movement. It's moving forward. And the sun card is by far the most powerful card in all the tarot deck. It's everything. It's everything that anybody could wish for or want or desire or need in their life. Illumination, spiritual awakening, health, wealth, prosperity, fame, fortune, success, having a good life. Somebody was trying to show somebody that they could have a good life with them. But they got tied up or caught up in something that was toxic. A lot of hurt feelings or emotions in the past. But you know what? What goes around comes around. Okay? Scorpio, Capricorn, if you'd like to book a personal reading with me for your situation, so Capricorn, if you are dealing with the Scorpio, or Scorpio, you're dealing with the Capricorn, you can hit me up at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com, and my amazing assistant, Victoria, will book you for that personal reading. And until next time, take care.